I'm fine. No, no. I am. Listen to me. You're stronger than they are. You are. Get to a ball. They may not have... Well, if you show them how good you are. They just want a good show. That's all they want. If they don't have a bow, then you make one, okay? You know how to hunt. There's 24 of us, Gail. Only one comes out. Yeah. And it's gonna be you. Okay. Take care of them, Gail. Whatever you do, don't let them starve. Let's go. <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay? Hey, man. So this weekend, I saw this big bad movie uh, called The Hunger Games. And uh, it, seemed, it was full, so I'm guessing it did pretty well. Um, this based off a book by Susan Collins by the same name, The Hunger Games, and uh, partly inspired, well let me start with the premise, right, the premise is basically, I mean there's more to it, but it's basically uh, these kids that are kind of raffled into this game show where they have to kill each other, right, and uh, there's only one winner, so winner takes all, and uh, there's, we've seen this premise before, We've seen it in 2000 with Battle Royale. We've seen it in the book uh, Lord of the Flies. We've seen it in, um, there's a 1932 movie, uh, The Most Dangerous Game. It's based off this little short story. I read it in high school, it's pretty cool. I would definitely recommend you checking that out. Um, so we, we've seen this story before, and it kind of really, it, they all raise the question of, uh, you know, this, uh, what is the value of life, right? Like, what is, what, what is a life worth? And how much uh, do we put, you know, how much do we cherish it, right? Because uh, in our society today, there is, you know, we, we accept it to certain degrees in some situations. Uh, you know, that's ridiculous, right? But no, 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 like in war, you know, I'm not saying whether or not these things are right, but I'm just saying like in war, uh, some, you know, it is acceptable to kill the bad guy. Uh, it is acceptable to murder a murderer. It is uh, some. There's a little even again. It's a little shakier, but uh, some people don't view uh, an abortion as as a kind of murder. You know, it's some people don't consider that thing alive, right? So I don't know. It's toss up. You know, what is a life, and how you know how do we put value on it? Is kind of what I'm getting out of these, uh, these little these storylines, right? I, that's kind of like the real compelling thing that's kind of going subconsciously in the minds where people are kind of going, you know, like they go to battle royale, they see all these people getting like fucking cut up and like, you know, these spraying throats. But um, you know, in, in you know, underneath all that, there's this kind of like this question, you know, like what what is the real value in a life? And uh, I don't want to give anything away, but basically, if that sounds interesting at all. I would check out the Hunger Games, and there is this other kind of stuff going on in the background. This uh, this kind of political thing going on where there is a coercion of a of a group in the top, kind of just not necessarily like a 99 one percent kind of thing. It's different because there's rich people playing in the games, right? It's uh, it's not a class thing. It's more of a there there is a group. I don't I don't, I don't know. I have to check out the books, but I because I already forgot the names, but there, there is a group, and they are kind of coercing uh, these people into playing this game. Uh, so, I don't know, there is this kind of political thing kind of in the background, but it's not really about that. You know, it's, it's more to do with these kids in this situation, and uh, maybe it'll have to do more with this political stuff in, in the, the, the follow-ups. You know, there's a two and a third one, right? So... Uh, you know, I'm definitely interested, man. I'm invested, you know, so uh, very cool. I would recommend it, man. Unloaded camera. Get the expression on Doc's face, Bill. He looks more frightened than the tiger. He is. <laughs> Just what you have on your mind, Doc. I'll tell you what I had on my mind. I was thinking of the inconsistency of civilization. The beast of the jungle killing just for his existence is called savage. The man... Killing just for sport is called civilized. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit contradictory, isn't it? Now, just a minute. What makes you think it isn't just as much sport for the animal as it is for the man? Now, take that fellow right there, for instance. There never was a time when he couldn't have gotten away. But he didn't want to. He got interested in hunting me. He didn't hate me for stalking him any more than I hated him for trying to charge me. As a matter of fact, we admired each other. Perhaps. But would you change places with the tiger? Well... 
not now